Okay, I'm here at Darien <laughs> Detail with Dirk. Good yeah, to see you, my yeah, friend. Good to see you, Nick. Just over four years ago, you put the paint protection film on this green beast. Yeah. And it stood up really well. Yeah, it's been, uh, been, uh, been a number of years. I mean, you know, I think we did this before, uh, before COVID was around. And, um, you know, good to kind of get a chance to revisit it and yeah. look how it's, uh, how it's held up. Yeah, so since it's four years old, I'm giving it a bit of a birthday present. I've uh, bought some new winter wheels for it. This is, uh, nice. these, are, these are turbo wheels with uh, winter tires, so I can change them out myself. Awesome. Might, might do a tune to it. Okay. And you're going to fix my paint yeah. protection film, <laughs> which really has saved this car multiple times. There's one, this, I remember this, yeah. this, this one here. It's taken this, a couple of hits. Yeah, there was a, it was like a bolt from the back of a truck hit the car, and yeah. I saw it fly over the top. I yeah. thought, oh, that's going to be a dent for sure. But no, it's just the, just the paint protection film sort of peel, peel yeah. off there. Yeah, so I mean, you know, a lot of stuff when it comes into contact with the film won't leave a mark. Yeah. But obviously if something hits it hard enough and it's you know, it sharp it, yeah. enough, it can, it can tear the film a little bit. But, um, you know, if you look closely here, and you can zoom in now, but we'll also, you know, we can take a closer look after we, uh, you know, after we remove the film. Yeah. But there's, there's no actual, you know, there's some glue there. Um, but once we clean this up, there's no actual damage to the nice. to the paint underneath. So. And this this one's another one got hit yeah, down here. Yeah, couple that, of hits. That should be hit. So yeah, once yep. it gets a clean, you can you can see where there's there's marks and yeah, a few scrapes and scratches like over here as well. Yeah, yeah. Side swiped. Uh, yes, yeah, something per chance. Yeah, yeah, by yeah, chance. It was, it was a teenager. They were on the road, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, little little bits and pieces. But yeah, I noticed. You know the the McCartans, the 911s that don't have the paint protection film. Boy, even after a yeah. couple of thousand miles, they really start to. How many miles do you have on this now? This has got 41,000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been used, and you know, if just at a glance, like the car looks in in pretty good shape. You don't notice, you know, you don't notice a, a couple of the marks here and there from a few feet away. But um, you know, the beauty beauty of it is that 41,000 miles we can you know elect to, to remove this layer of film and yep. the original paint underneath is going to be in perfect shape and start fresh yeah thanks you yeah, know it's really good i was i was dating a girl down in uh, dc for a while and so i was doing long hauls down there yep. so that's how i put on some mileage but yeah the car's overall looking pretty good you put a bit of film yep. in the door jam the, the door, door jams piece. and they, that's they don't have the scratches that are, are often there yep and uh you put some film Oh. Hang on. I'll turn that down. <laughs> Tui. Come on. <laughs> Tui and Smudge <laughs> rocking, <laughs> rocking the interior. <laughs> yeah, you put, you put some film down here as well, which has stopped yeah. the scratches from, from happening there and on the, on the back door as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, it's really, it's really stood up well. And, and yeah, this color, this color gets so much love. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can't go to a gas station without someone commenting. Yeah, it's, it's, I've owned lots of fancy cars, but this one has got more love than any car I've ever owned just because of the color. So yeah, we'll Mamba's, I don't think they, they stopped offering it, didn't they? Oh, it was, it was only, it was only a short lived a year or two. <laughs> this is an odd model car. Just generally it was, it was the new refresh with the biggest screen in the middle. Yep. Um, and it, the switch to the Audi V6. Um, but it was it was very short-lived this color and very short-lived still having the buttons in the middle They uh, they upgraded that the following year. I think or two years later So it was a very short-lived. I kind of like having the, having you know the buttons. I, I, I'm a big love for the buttons Yeah, um, yeah, I really like the smoothness of this engine I'm gonna put a tune on this engine as well and see what happens. Yeah, so it's gonna get a bit of love a midlife love Yeah, this time to you know time to kind of refresh things a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. we we'll get uh, Get this hood film replaced. I think we'll probably do the bumper as well. I mean, we could probably even just polish out some of these yeah, scratches. That, None of them have the, gone through the film. Yeah, so yeah, let's see what happens. So yeah, th this this clamshell is a bit of a challenge for you, isn't it? Yeah. This this generation of Macan. The I mean, I guess the the existing generation. Uh, they did this giant clamshell design, which you've seen some other manufacturers do some similar designs, like yeah. like on a Aston Martin Vantage, for example. Um, but it does create a challenge from a PPF perspective because it's such a large oversized piece and a really curvy panel at the same time. So, uh, you know, it does, it does mean that you need to use a really large piece of film and you really kind of only have one shot to get the stretch right 
But uh, thankfully we've done a, f a few hundred of these over the last couple of years. So we're, we've, we've kind of got our technique down uh, yeah. to a science. Um, but uh, yeah, we were kind of a little bit relieved to see that the new Macan <laughs> uh, has gone to more of a traditional, right, uh, right. the electric I, one I, has I, a more traditional I design. You would have. Now one more thing was that uh, subsequent to you doing my car, I always note, I always take a look when I'm videoing a car, uh, what film it's got on it. And, yeah. and often I've seen films which are pre-cut and, yeah. you, and really it shows up on all the joints. They collect dirt around these joints. Yeah. So the, the advantage of coming to someone like you guys is you're custom cutting each one, aren't you? And wrapping the corners and wrapping. Yeah. You can't, you can't even tell. Like here we are four years later, you can't even tell. Yeah, even a few years yeah. later, if, if you didn't, if no one told you yeah. that there was film on the front yeah, of this you car, wouldn't know. you wouldn't know. And that, and that really comes down to obviously the quality of material, but also, you know, just the detail work around all the corners and the edges, you know, wrapping everything underneath. And, you know, the fact that we did the hood and in one seamless piece, you don't see any joins or yeah. seams or anything. So yeah. it's a beautiful job, and yeah. that's that's what you're paying for. You're paying for yeah. this workmanship where you're, you're doing everything custom and getting it just fitting, just perfectly right. I mean, just look at that there. You can just see how perfect that's cut. Yep. it's amazing. All right, that's great. Do you want to? Should we go and have a quick look yeah. around the? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so since shop? we we uh, did some renovations on the shop since the last time you were here, so yeah. we'll take a look around. Yeah. Yeah, if you look back to the video from a few years ago, the shop definitely looks a little bit different now. Um, so we did some upgrades and put the lifts in the floor and did some new lighting and cabinetry. Oh, I see, so it's all flush now. That's yeah, so we used to, uh, we have always had scissor car lifts, yep. but um, you know, we used to have to drive up and over them, but we right. flush mounted them into the floor so that they're, you know, makes, it, makes moving in low sports cars a lot, uh, a lot easier. You guys fancy, huh? Yeah. I mean, it makes makes our makes our job easier. And look at this. Yeah, new. Uh, Hang on, no. Look at this. There's, it's all all your bits are. In oh the, yeah, we've right got here. everything everything integrated into the cabinets. Yeah. Um, we've actually got our our. Believe it or not, the solution we use for the PPF is baby shampoo. It's oh, yeah. super high tech, <laughs> but we've got that mixed into uh, to oh, sprayer wow. lines, so we can get right to work on each, uh, you know, each part of the car. Um, this is a this is actually Oslo blue on a new GT4 RS that we're doing some film on. So you can see she's spraying the, uh, the soapy water onto the mirror there and um, we'll be stretching a piece of film you know, over the top of that and, that and getting amazing. into position. But some other interesting cars, kind of, kind of like some of the last generation. So that was a, you know, that's a, a Scat Pack Charger, which right. is I think like one of the last ones off the production line. Yeah, that's cool, um, that's a cool color too. Yeah, it's a neat, it's kind of a muted, uh, muted forest green kind of yeah. khaki color. Some three great colors here. Yeah, and then this is one of the last uh, R8s, so these are, you know, discontinued as well. And yeah. this one, we're just in the process of finishing up a, a full wrap on the car. You know, we do, depending on the car, I mean, we, over the years, we've, it's become more and more common to do full car coverage. Um, so we do a lot of full body wraps these days. Um, you know, especially on some of the more, you know, exotic yeah, and limited models. why wouldn't models. you? I mean, it just makes life... It's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah, once once a car is over, you know, over the kind of eighty to $100,000 mark, I think it, uh, it really makes a lot of sense to, yeah. to just cover every square inch. This is tragic, this color on, on a Ferrari. What are they thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dark gray, dark gray on a Ferrari is yeah. uh, a little bit more muted than, yeah. than, you know, what some other cars uh, can be, but... And then some big guys up here. Yep. Yeah. New uh, full size, full size Range Rover. So it's not, you know, it's not just just like on the Macan. It's not just for sports cars. Yeah. You know, even even the car you drive every day, um, you know, that's the car that's going to get beat up the most and uh, can really benefit from it the most. So that's we've amazing. wrapped most of this, but you can see Rudy here is uh, is working on, you know, getting the film in position on that lower side blade. So we don't just you know, some cars when they do have the contrasting trim, we don't just cover the body color paint. If there's carbon fiber or if there's gloss black, like on this Range Rover, you can see on the mirror here, you know, we'll cover all of these panels as well so that everything, you know, everything that is a painted surface Amazing. Um, is going to be equally protected. Amazing. But, no, love it. I yeah. love the work you do. No, look, uh, glad to, uh, the shop's looking incredible. Look at all the lighting. Yeah, and believe it or not, this is about, this is dimmed to this about, is dimmed. this is dimmed to about 50% right now. Oh my so, God. yeah, we wanted to have more, more light than we could ever ask for. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially for, for doing the PPF, it's super important to, to see any dust or anything like that, you know, immediately. So that's, yeah, uh, that's incredible. how we set it up.
All right, so there's going to be a dirty green McCann in here at yeah, some point. Yeah, we'll get... Uh, We'll get one of these sports cars moved out. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Just kidding. We'll get one of these moved out soon and um, and get the Macan in, and we'll get uh, get some of that film replaced for you. So Amazing. trying to refresh it. All right. Thanks, Dirk. Yeah. Amazing. Good yeah. to see you again. Thanks, Nick. Great to see you. So Dirk and his team are going to remove the original paint protection film applied for almost five years ago to my green Macan and replace it with a new set. Uh, and I want to reiterate, this is a totally unnecessary step for most people. It's just that my Macan. Uh, has a somewhat tougher life than most cars. It is my ski car, it is my camera car for my YouTube channel, obviously it's my dog car. Uh, it's done a lot of off-road and high-speed highway miles. Uh, it's been up to Canada, uh, it's been all over the country high-speed and it just takes a lot of hits and damage my car. Yet the paint protection film has kept it looking brand new and has completely protected the paint this whole time. The paint protection film itself has got a little nicks and cuts in it here and there where it's taken some big hits so I just wanted to keep the car looking brand new so I'm replacing the film it has done its job everything underneath the film is still factory fresh why I always use Darren detail is because they're world-class they custom fit the paint protection film you cannot tell it's on the car they fold every edge they custom cut the film to every car so it is an absolutely perfect fit you just cannot get workmanship like this everywhere. It is amazing the job that they do. I recommend them to anyone that buys a Porsche or any other expensive car. It is a no-brainer to me to protect the car and keep it looking brand new for as long as I want to keep the car. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a new like car. A, it's a brand new car. Yep. So what have we done? Yeah, so we uh, you know, brought the car in and um, you know, it, it looked, still looked pretty good. Like, it's not like we had to replace the PPF. You, know, you could have driven it yeah. for, for a number of more years with the same original material, but uh, you know, it had kind of you know, taken a few, few shots. You had that little mark down yeah, here where perfect. something had it's hit it. Perfect and, now. Um, it's perfect here. You know, there was a peppering on where you know, after 50,000 miles, it had taken a few hits. So um, you know, the beauty of it is that you can put all those miles on the car and here we are four or five years this, later. This is exactly what, why you PPF, particularly Porsches that take yeah. a lot of damage. It's, uh, it's incredible. I mean, we really didn't need to replace it, but we did it anyway. And, um, yeah. so and we it took just shows our, that this car, 40,000 miles, looks brand new, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, so we removed all of the film, on the, the giant piece of film on the hood and the whole front bumper. Um, and it you know, comes off pretty spotless. It's a little bit of a process, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary and got all that film removed and cleaned up and then put brand new film on. Um, so now you're you know, good to go to keep driving it and the car looks, like, uh, looks keep, like the day you bought it for yeah, the most part. I'll keep treating it like shit yeah. and it'll continue, <laughs> yeah. continue to look great. Yep. Amazing job. Uh -huh. So I, once again, I just cannot recommend Dirk's work highly enough it's it's just the top of the profession as far as i'm concerned and that's why uh that's why we make these videos to highlight the work that you guys do here yeah um it's just outstanding so i really appreciate it Dirk. yeah thank awesome, you very awesome much awesome work as always yeah glad to take care of it all awesome. right thanks nick thank you my friend Green Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Nick Murray, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of criminals who operate above the law.